Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pardon, pardon. We back again with another one from George Carlin. This one's supposed to be on some cultural issues. Let's see what he's talking about. Let's go. Something else I don't understand, motivation tapes, motivation books. What happened here? Suddenly everybody needs to be motivated? It's a fairly simple thing. Either you want to do something or you don't. <laughs> I stopped it because fast forward to today, that's all you see on YouTube, motivational. Motivation books. What happened here? Suddenly everybody needs to be motivated? It's a fairly simple thing. Either you want to do something or you don't. What's the big mystery? Besides, if you're motivated enough to go to the store to buy a motivation book, aren't you motivated enough to do that? So you don't need to put it back. Tell the clerk, fuck you, I'm motivated, I'm going home. <laughs> bow, bow, bow. Yeah. Yeah, he hit, it. he hit him right there. That made too much sense. Too logic. Too much logic. Motivated enough to do that, so you don't need the book. Put it back. Tell the clerk, fuck you, I'm motivated, I'm going home. And can anyone explain to me the need for one hour photo finishing? <laughs> you just saw the fucking thing. <laughs> Oh, so much people do not understand that one hour photo. Y'all don't know. Everything's instant now. How, how can you possibly be nostalgic about a concept like a little while ago? <laughs> Another complaint, too many vehicles. There are some families in this country own entirely too many vehicles. You see them on the highway in an RV. But that's not enough for them. RV's not enough. Behind them, they're towing a motorboat, go-kart, dune buggy, dirt bike, jet ski, <laughs> snowmobile, parasail, hang glider, windsurfing equipment, a hot air balloon, and a small two-man deep-sea diving bell. <laughs> Doesn't anyone just take a fucking walk anymore? The only thing these people lack is a lunar excursion module. <laughs> Too many choices, America. Mm. It's not healthy. Only for the sake of salesmanship. Lunar excursion module. <laughs> Too many choices, America. It's not healthy. <laughs> Another abomination. White guys over 10 years of age who wear their baseball hats backwards. <laughs> White guys, let me tell you something. You're never going to be as cool as black guys. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Where I'm from, you see that? That's an undercover cop. They're always trying to blend in, but it looks very awkward. Very awkward. White guys, let me tell you something. You're never going to be as cool as black guys. It's not going to happen. You're white and you're lame. It's a fucking law of nature. <laughs> Turning your hat around and learning a complicated handshake will not make you cool. <laughs> and you black guys, since you started the whole thing, I'm going to let you stay with the hats a little bit longer, but I think really, once you qualify for Social Security, it's time to spin that motherfucker around to the front. <laughs> <of you>. right? <laughs> another tip, another tip for the men. The earring, the thing with the earrings, it's over. <laughs> it's been over for a long time. Doesn't mean anything anymore. It was supposed to piss off the squares. The squares are wearing them now. <laughs> Doesn't mean anything. It's just fucking jewelry. Unless you have an earring with a live baby hanging from it. <laughs> it's just jewelry. And I want you to know I'm in favor of self-mutilation and personal disfigurement. <laughs> I've always said there's nothing like puncturing and perforating your skin in a dozen or so places in order to demonstrate your high self-esteem. You know what's crazy? I don't have not one tattoo. I got jewelry and all that, but I don't do tattoos. I don't play with those things. Have you ever seen a bumper sticker on a Bentley? No. Argument. I've always said there's nothing like puncturing and perforating your skin in a dozen or so places in order to demonstrate your high self-esteem. When I see a young man decorating his scalp with a soldering iron, I say, there's a happy guy. Thinks highly of himself. 
And haven't we gone a little overboard with these colored ribbons for different causes? Every cause has its own colored ribbon now. Red for AIDS, blue for child abuse, pink for breast cancer, green for the rainforest, purple for urban violence. I got a brown one. You know what it means? Eat shit, motherfucker! <laughs> Eat shit, motherfucker! <laughs> so it seems like these ribbon things have been going on for a long, long time. I wonder what's that all about. Oh, you know, raising money. Purple for urban violence. I got a brown one. You know what it means? Eat shit, motherfucker! Eat shit, motherfucker! <laughs> and what can we do to silence these Christian athletes who thank Jesus whenever they win, never mention his name when they lose? <laughs> you never hear him say, Jesus made me drop the ball. <laughs> Never looked at it that way, George. Never looked at it that way. Thank Jesus whenever they win. Never mention his name when they lose. Not a word. You never hear him say, Jesus made me drop the ball. <laughs> the good Lord tripped me up behind the line of scrimmage. <laughs> According to these guys, Jesus is undefeated. Meanwhile, these assholes are in last place. <laughs> must be another one of those miracles. <laughs> speaking of delusional people, what about a guy who hears a voice in his head, tells him to kill his entire family, so he does it? Is this the only thing a voice in the head ever tells these people to do is to kill others? Doesn't a voice ever tell a guy, go take a shit on the salad bar at Wendy's? <laughs> doesn't, a voice, doesn't a voice tell a guy to take out his dick on the merry-go-round once in a while? Well, some guys do take out their dicks on the merry-go-round, but usually it's their own idea. <laughs> Something else I can do without aftershave and cologne and this disgusting shit that men put on their bodies. Just what I need in the elevator. Some guy standing next to me smells like a fucking pine tree. <laughs> say, go home and wash, you smelly prick. <laughs> you smell like the urinal in a Portuguese cat house. <laughs> God damn, guys are stupid. Guys are really fucking dumb. They think they're going to get laid with this stuff, you know. Oh, yeah, they put it on at home. Oh, boy, oh, boy, I'll get laid tonight. I'll get laid tonight. You don't get laid with green shit that comes out of a bottle, okay? And the only smell that's going to help you get laid might be your own natural scent. You have pheromones. It's a secondary sex characteristic. Yeah, that's true, though. That is super true. But, I mean, you can't be stinking, though, you know what I mean? But pheromones are a real thing. That's why animals attract to each other. Green shit that comes out of a bottle, okay? And the only smell that's going to help you get laid might be your own natural scent. You have pheromones. It's a secondary sex characteristic. People in America, oh, nervous about sex. They want to cover that up and disguise it. Guys in Europe, they know how to live. Guy gets in the elevator over there, he smells like a pile of dog shit. <laughs> Those people are sophisticated. <laughs> Getting pretty tired of these guys walking around in cowboy hats and cowboy boots. You ever see these jack-offs? Can't we kill some of these motherfuckers walking around in a fucking cowboy hat? Grown man. It's not even Halloween, for Christ's sake. <laughs> oh, Texas not going to like that. Texas will not like that. Can't we kill some of these motherfuckers walking around in a fucking cowboy hat? Grown man. It's not even Halloween, for Christ's sakes. <laughs> I say, hey, Tex, grow up and get yourself a wardrobe consistent with the century you're living in. <laughs> Why do certain men feel the need to dress up as mythic figures? You don't see anyone walking around in a pirate costume, do you? <laughs> Who's the last guy you ran into? Please, I don't want to see anybody walk around with no pirate costume. That was crazy. Century you're living in. Why do certain men feel the need to dress up as mythic figures? You don't see anyone walking around in a pirate costume, do you? <laughs> When's the last guy you ran into had on a Viking outfit? <laughs> Make believe cowboys. Closest they ever got to a cow is when they stopped to take a piss at an Arby's. <laughs> and camcorders. Here is technology gone berserk. Everywhere you go now, there's some dick, some yo-yo, some putts <laughs> with a camcorder, and he is going to tape everything. <laughs> Doesn't anyone in this country just stop and look at things anymore? Oh, man. Fast forward to today. Everyone is like this now. Everybody's recording everything. That's why you, just, you can't get away with anything no more. It's over.
Trust me, someone got you on their camera. And he is going to tape everything. <laughs> Doesn't anyone in this country just stop and look at things anymore? Sort of take them in, maybe even <laughs> remember them? <laughs> is that a strange notion? Does, that, does experience have to be documented and brought home and saved on the shelf? And do people really watch this shit? Are people's lives so bankrupt they sit at home looking at things they already did? <laughs> These guys are so intense, you know? It's always guys. They won't let women touch the cameras. It's a highly technical skill. <laughs> Look through a hole, push on a button, big skill. And they all think they're Federico Fellini. Ever seen <laughs> <laughs> Yo, put a comment in there if you agree with him. Technical skill. <laughs> Look through a hole, push on a button, big skill, and there. They all think they're Federico Fellini. You ever seen him? <laughs> Low angles, zooms, and pans, and it's the same ugly three children in every goddamn shot. <laughs> All the George Lucas magic in Hollywood is not going to change the unfortunate genetic configuration on the faces of these children. Keep these unfortunate youngsters out of public view. Now, a lot of these, hold on a second, a lot of these cultural crimes I've been complaining about can be blamed on the baby boomers. Something else I'm a little tired of hearing about, the baby boomers. Whiny, narcissistic, self-indulgent people with a simple philosophy. Give me that, it's mine! Give me that, it's mine! These people were given everything. Everything was handed to them. And they took it all, took it all. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll, and they stayed loaded for 20 years and had a free ride. But now they're staring down the barrel of middle-aged burnout, and they don't like it. They don't like it, so they've turned self-righteous. And they want to make things hard on younger people. They tell them, abstain from sex. Say no to drugs. As for the rock and roll, they sold that for television commercials a long time ago. So they could buy pasta machines. <laughs> and stair masters and soybean futures. <laughs> soybean futures. You know something? Yo, this guy's on point. Super genius. They're cold, bloodless people. It's in their slogans, it's in their rhetoric. No pain, no gain. Just do it. Life is short, play hard. Shit happens, deal with it. Get a life. These people went from do your own thing to just say no. <laughs> they went from love is all you need to whoever winds up with the most toys wins. And they went from cocaine to Rogaine. <laughs> Cocaine to Rogaine. Mm, mm, mm. They're still selling you something. Love is all you need to whoever winds up with the most toys wins. And they went from cocaine to Rogaine. And you know something? They're still counting grams, only now it's fat grams. And the worst of it is, the rest of us have to watch these commercials on TV for Levi's loose-fitting jeans and fat-ass docker pants. <laughs> because these degenerate, yuppie, boomer cocksuckers couldn't keep their hands off the croissants and the hagen <laughs> And their big fat asses have spread all over and they have to wear fat-ass docker pants. Fuck these boomers, fuck these yuppies, and fuck everybody, now that I think of it. <laughs> Look at that face. That's that F you, I don't care about you face. Hey, hey, hey. Well, sometimes in comedy you have to generalize. Now there's one thing you might have noticed I don't complain about. Politicians. Everybody complains about politicians. Everybody says they suck. Yeah. Well, where do people think these politicians come from? They don't fall out of the sky. They don't pass through a membrane from another reality. They come from American parents and American families, American homes, American schools, American churches, American businesses, and American universities, and they're elected by American citizens. This is the best we can do, folks. This is what we have to offer. It's what our system produces. Garbage in, garbage, garbage out. out. If you have selfish, <laughs> ignorant citizens 
If you have selfish, ignorant citizens, you're going to get selfish, ignorant leaders. And term limits ain't going to do you any good. You're just going to wind up with a brand new bunch of selfish, ignorant Americans. So maybe, maybe, maybe it's not the politicians who suck. Maybe something else sucks around here, like the public. Yeah, the public sucks. There's a nice campaign slogan for somebody. The public sucks. Fuck hope. Fuck hope. <laughs> He sound like he's triggered about something. Yeah, the public sucks. There's a nice campaign slogan for somebody. The public sucks. Fuck hope. Fuck hope. Because if it's really just the fault of these politicians, then where are all the other bright people of conscience? Mm. Where are all the bright, honest, intelligent Americans ready to step in and save the nation and lead the way? We don't have people like that in this country. Everybody's at the mall, scratching his ass, picking his nose, taking his credit card out of his fanny pack and buying a pair of sneakers with lights in them. Yo, you hear what he said? Taking their credit cards out of their fanny packs. How long ago was this? Because what's going on today? What did you see today? I digress. Let's go back people like that in this country everybody's at the mall scratching his ass picking his nose taking his credit card out of his fanny pack and buying a pair of sneakers with lights in them so i have solved this little political dilemma for myself in a very simple way on election day i stay home i don't vote fuck them fuck them i don't vote two reasons two reasons i don't vote first of all it's meaningless this country was bought and sold and paid for a long time ago. The shit they shuffle around every four years <laughs> doesn't mean a fucking thing. And secondly, I don't vote because I believe if you vote, you have no right to complain. People like to twist that around, I know. They say, they say well, if you don't vote, you have no right to complain. But where's the logic in that? If you vote, and you elect dishonest, incompetent people, and they get into office and screw everything up, well, you are responsible for what they have done. You caused the problem. You voted them in. You have no right to complain. <laughs> you have no right to complain. He makes point. He makes sense. If you vote, and you elect dishonest, incompetent people, and they get into office and screw everything up, well, you are responsible for what they have done. You caused the problem. You voted them in. You have no right to complain. I... On the other hand, <laughs> who did not vote, who did not vote, who, in fact, did not even leave the House on Election Day, am in no way responsible for what these people have done and have every right to complain as loud as I want about the mess you created that I had nothing to do with. <laughs> so I know that a little later on this year, you're going to have another one of those really swell presidential elections that you like so much. You'll enjoy yourselves. It'll be a lot of fun. I'm sure as soon as the election is over, your country will improve immediately. As for me, I'll be home on that day doing essentially the same thing as you. The only difference is when I get finished masturbating, I'm going to have a little something to show for it, folks. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, that was official right there. Man, listen, you already know how this goes. Until then, I'll see you again. Make sure you hit that like, leave a comment, and please subscribe to this channel because I'm trying to hit that 50K, and I need your help. We got to do this together. On that note, good night.